habits. We all have them. Some are good, while some not so much. John Dryden once said, We first make our habits, then our habits make us. I read Atomic Habits a while ago, and it was fantastic, but it left me wanting more, prompting me to dive into other books about habits. So if you're looking to learn about habit building and improve your everyday life, you're in the right place, my friend. In this video, I'm sharing 15 incredible books that will teach you about habits and help you unlock your highest potential. Note that the list isn't in any particular order, so you can read any book you want in any sequence. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's jump in. Number 1. The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey I'm starting with this one because it changed my life. If I hadn't read it, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. In this book, author Stephen R. Covey presents a holistic, integrated, principle-centered approach for solving personal and professional problems. With penetrating insights and pointed anecdotes, Covey reveals a step-by-step -step pathway for living with fairness, integrity, service, and human dignity. Principles that give us the security to adapt to change and the wisdom and power to take advantage of the opportunities that change creates. Covey gives us seven habits that can transform every aspect of our lives from physical and mental health to overall success. Master these habits and you'll see a fundamental change. Trust me, success is almost guaranteed with this one. What's great about this book is that it offers a lot of perspective and covers all dimensions of life. The book is filled with useful charts and diagrams that explain the concepts clearly, making it easier to understand and apply. Even though it was written years ago, its principles are still effective today, proving its timeless value. Some readers found it a bit too long and dense. They felt like it could have been more concise and to the point. Also, a few thought that some of the advice might be a bit dated since it was first published a while ago. However, many people still praise it for its timeless wisdom and practical insights into personal development. If you're up for diving into a comprehensive guide to becoming more effective, it could still be worth a read. Number 2. Tiny Habits by BJ Fogg The author explains that you can have a happier, healthier life by starting with small changes. Many people think change is hard and requires strong willpower, but Fogg says change can be easy if you take small steps and stay flexible. His book, Tiny Habits, is based on 20 years of research and coaching over 40,000 people. It shows simple ways to create good habits and feel good about your progress. Fogg's methods have helped many companies, and now he's sharing them with everyone. Whether you want to lose weight, reduce stress, sleep better, or be more productive, Tiny Habits makes it easy to reach your goals. What's good about this book? Well, for starters, it's incredibly well-structured and easy to understand. You won't get lost in complicated jargon or dense theories. Everything is laid out clearly, making it a breeze to follow along. Plus, the ideas in this book are grounded in solid research on behavioral design, which adds a lot of credibility and depth to the content. You'll find that the concepts are not just theoretical, but very practical and easy to put into practice in your daily life. Of course, like any book, it has its downsides. The subject of habits has been explored in many other books, so some of the information might feel a bit redundant if you've read widely on the topic. But even so, the way it's presented here is fresh and actionable, making it a worthwhile read. Number 3. The Hidden Habits of Genius by Craig M. Wright This book explores what sets geniuses apart from the rest of us. It's not just about intelligence or hard work. Geniuses are curious, willing to question beliefs and ready to try new things. It dives into what makes geniuses like Einstein, Beethoven, Picasso, and Steve Jobs so special. What's fascinating is that despite their flaws, like Beethoven struggling with math and Jobs having a low GPA, they made groundbreaking contributions to the world. One of the coolest things is how Wright debunks the idea of sudden eureka moments. He shows that big insights come from long-term thinking and consistent habits, not just flashes of inspiration. And the best part? These genius habits can be learned and cultivated by anyone. This book won't make you a genius overnight, but it will teach you how to be more strategic, creative, and successful. Plus, it's filled with stories of famous figures like Darwin, Curie, Da Vinci, Warhol, Morrison, and Musk, making it a super engaging read. Give it a shot. I think you'll find it both inspiring and practical. The book is entertaining and engaging. 
great for those curious about unlocking their potential. The downsides are, it's not very actionable. It mainly discusses the idea of becoming a genius. The term genius is subjective, so the book might be a hit or miss for some. Number 4. Badass Habits by Jen Sincero Badass Habits is a fun and easy read that shows how our habits shape who we are. It goes beyond just small habits like flossing or being on time. This book explores how our habits reveal our hidden desires, boundaries, self-awareness, and fears. Jen Sincero uses her signature humor to give a fresh perspective on habits, mixing conventional wisdom with science. And it also features interviews with people who have successfully improved their discipline. Sincero focuses on setting clear boundaries, which is essential for changing your habits. It's not just about building habits, but also about understanding why you want them in the first place. What's good about this book is that the author is inspiring and relatable. It's a feel-good book, especially for newbies to self-help. The downsides are it leans heavily on the self-help side. Also, you might feel that it lacks depth if you have already read Atomic Habits a few times. Number 5. Good Habits, Bad Habits by Wendy Wood Imagine if you could harness the power of your unconscious mind, which already controls much of what you do, to achieve your goals. Shockingly, we spend nearly half our day doing things out of habit without even thinking about them. Our responses to people, behavior and meetings, purchases, exercise, routines, and eating habits, so many daily actions are driven by habit. Yet, when we want to change, we rely on willpower alone, hoping determination will be enough. This is why most of us fail. Professor Wendy Wood, who is an expert on habits, draws on three decades of research to explain the science behind how we form habits and how to unlock our habitual mind to make desired changes. Through a mix of neuroscience, case studies, and lab experiments, the book offers a comprehensive, accessible, and practical guide that will change the way you think about almost every aspect of your life. Wood suggests that replacing bad habits with good ones and making them automatic over time is key. Many readers appreciated the depth of research presented in the book, finding it informative and eye-opening. Wood's writing style was praised for being clear and accessible, making complex concepts understandable to a wide audience. The book's practical advice and actionable strategies were also highlighted as valuable tools for anyone seeking to improve their habits and overall well-being. Some readers felt that the book could be overly academic at times, with dense sections that may be challenging for casual readers. A few readers also mentioned that they were hoping for more personal anecdotes or real-life examples to illustrate the concepts discussed. Despite these criticisms, this book is generally regarded as a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding and changing their habits. Number 6. Mini Habits by Stephen Guise This book highlights the power of small, consistent efforts. It shows that doing even a little bit is much better than doing nothing at all. Small daily actions can have a greater impact over time than sporadic, large efforts. Often we blame ourselves for not making progress, but the real issue lies in our strategies. By investing in key areas like fitness and learning, we can improve other aspects of our lives as well. Introducing good habits can open up new possibilities, boost our confidence, and provide hope for the future. This book is filled with practical insights and motivating ideas that can transform how you approach personal growth. It's a must read for anyone looking to make lasting, positive changes in their life. Some readers felt that the book could have been more concise, with certain ideas being repeated or elaborated on excessively. A few readers also mentioned that they were looking for more in-depth explanations or scientific evidence to support the effectiveness of the mini habits approach. Number 7. The Now Habit by Neil A. Fiore Originally published by Tarsher in 1988, The Now Habit by Neil Fiore has sold over 58,000 copies and remains highly relevant today. Fiore offers the first comprehensive strategy to overcome procrastination and its harmful effects. His techniques help busy people get more done quickly and efficiently without the anxiety and stress of missed deadlines. This revised edition features a new introduction and a section with strategies to understand and manage the complex role technology plays in procrastination today. If you're looking to boost productivity and reduce stress, this book is a game changer. Procrastination is a major efficiency killer. Fiore's book also helps you break the habit of procrastination by turning big tasks into manageable ones. 
Many readers appreciate Fiore's compassionate and understanding approach to procrastination, which focuses on self-compassion and positive reinforcement rather than guilt or shame. The book provides concrete techniques for breaking the cycle of procrastination, such as scheduling unscheduled time and using the unscheduled method to prioritize tasks. Fiore's strategies are supported by psychological research and real-life examples, making them accessible and actionable for readers. However, some readers found the book to be overly repetitive, with similar ideas being reiterated throughout the text. A few readers also felt that some of the advice offered in the book was overly simplistic or not applicable to their specific situations. Number 8. High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard It's all about six habits that can really make you extraordinary. Burchard spent 20 years figuring out why some people and teams succeed faster and stay happy while others don't. He found that just six habits can give you an edge in life, relationships, and careers. What's great is that anyone can practice these habits. They help you gain clarity, boost your energy, raise your sense of necessity, increase productivity, develop influence, and show courage. The book is filled with cool stories, science-backed tips, and exercises you can start using right away. Plus, it comes with a free professional assessment to track your progress. If you want to get more done, lead better, develop skills faster, or just feel more joyful and confident, this book has got you covered. It's practical, easy to follow, and super motivating. Give it a try and see how it can change your life. Burchard focuses on habits that lead to high performance and long-term success. The book is based on a large study of successful people from over 190 countries. The only downside of this book is that it has very basic information. If you read a lot of self-help books, you might find the information repetitive. Number 9. Making Habits, Breaking Habits by Jeremy Dean If you've ever wondered how long it takes to start going to the gym or practicing a musical instrument until it feels automatic, this book has some surprising answers. This book dives into one of the most powerful yet underappreciated processes in the mind. Habit Formation Even though we like to think we're in control, much of our behavior happens without any conscious decision making. Dean draws on hundreds of fascinating studies to explain why forming even seemingly simple habits like eating an apple a day can be surprisingly difficult. He shows how to take charge of your brain's natural autopilot to make any change stick. What's great about this book is its witty and intriguing approach. Dean busts myths and provides practical strategies for bending your habits to your will. By understanding and leveraging these insights, you can become happier, more creative, and more productive. If you want to learn how to make lasting changes in your life, this book is a must read. But here's the thing, some people say it's a bit light on practical tips. Like, it talks a lot about why habits are the way they are, but it doesn't give you a ton of step-by-step -step stuff to try out. Also, some folks found it kind of repetitive, and it doesn't go super deep into some topics. But if you're cool with that and just want to understand habits better, it could still be worth checking out. Number 10, The Power of Ritual by Casper Terkoyle. The Power of Ritual by Casper Terkoyle is a fascinating exploration of how we can transform everyday activities into meaningful, soulful practices. This book is all about finding connection and purpose in our daily lives. Casper shares ancient tools reimagined for our modern world and stories from people who are already living this way. The book focuses on four levels of connection with yourself, with others, with the natural world, and with something transcendent. By deepening these rituals of connection, you can bring a greater sense of meaning and fulfillment into your life. Whether you're looking to enhance your daily routines or seeking new ways to feel more connected, this book offers practical and inspiring guidance. If you want to discover how simple actions can enrich your life, this book is a must read. Readers appreciate the book's insightful exploration of the role of rituals in contemporary society and its practical guidance on incorporating rituals into daily life. Terkaili's storytelling and engaging writing style make complex concepts accessible to a wide audience. Some readers feel that the book lacks depth in its analysis of certain topics and could benefit from more concrete examples or case studies. Additionally, a few reviewers note that the book's focus on spirituality may not appeal to all readers, particularly those who prefer a more secular approach to self-improvement. Number 11, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. It's like the cousin of Atomic Habits 
equally insightful and maybe even more mind-blowing. First off, it's packed with fascinating stories and examples that make understanding habits a breeze. Duhigg takes you on a journey through the science behind why we do what we do, from the everyday routines to the life-changing transformations. But what sets this book apart is its focus on the power of habit loops and how they shape not just individual behavior, but entire organizations and societies. It's like peeking behind the curtain to see the inner workings of human behavior. Plus, Duhigg dives deep into the practical strategies for changing habits, backed by real-life examples and research. So if you're looking for actionable steps to level up your habits game, this book has got you covered. And here's the kicker. While Atomic Habits gave you the how of habit formation, the power of habit delves into the why and what behind our habits. It's like getting the full picture from understanding the cues that trigger habits to mastering the rewards that keep them going. So if you're itching to dive deeper into the fascinating world of habits and want a fresh perspective after ye Atomic Habits, this book is the perfect next read for you. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Duhigg explains how habits work and how companies use them to make us addicted to their products. Understanding this can help you change your own habits. Now, talking about the negatives of this book, some folks who read this felt like it had a bit too much storytelling and not enough actionable advice. Like, they wanted more clear steps on how to change their habits, but the book focused a lot on stories instead. Also, a few people thought it dragged on a bit in some parts, so it might not be the fastest read. But hey, if you're into learning through stories and don't mind taking your time with the book, it could still be worth checking out. Number 12, The High Five Habit by Mel Robbins. In this book, Robbins introduces the concept of the high five, a simple yet powerful gesture that rewires your brain for success and positivity. It's like giving yourself a mini celebration every time you accomplish something, no matter how small. A high five habit doesn't just stop at changing your habits, it's about changing your mindset too. Robbins dives deep into the psychology behind why we self-sabotage and how we can break free from negative thought patterns. Plus, just like James Clear did in Atomic Habits, Robbins peppers the book with real-life stories and practical exercises that make implementing the high-five habit a breeze. It's like having a personal coach cheering you on every step of the way. So if you're ready to take your habit game to the next level and add a dose of positivity to your daily routine, the high-five habit is the perfect next read for you. What's good about this book is that it's easy to apply and backed by scientific studies. It also encourages self-love and gratitude. Talking about the downsides, some readers might find it overly positive. Also, I don't think high-fiving yourself will solve all your life problems. Number 13, Rewire by Richard O'Connor. This book offers a fresh perspective on the science of habits and behavior change. While Atomic Habits focused on practical strategies for building good habits, Rewire delves deeper into the psychological and emotional aspects behind why we do what we do. In the book, the author explores the complex relationship between our thoughts, feelings, and actions, shedding light on why it can be so hard to break free from old habits even when we know they're not serving us. It's like getting a behind-the-scenes look at the inner workings of your mind. One of the standout features of this book is O'Connor's emphasis on self-compassion and understanding. He encourages readers to approach habit change with kindness and curiosity rather than self-criticism. This compassionate approach can be incredibly empowering, especially if you've ever felt stuck in a cycle of negative habits. That said, it's important to note that this book might not offer as many practical step-by-step -step strategies as atomic habits. Some readers find it more introspective and theory focused, which may or may not align with your preferences. Number 14. Habits of a Happy Brain by Loretta Graziano. This book explores how our brain chemistry influences our happiness and well-being. Graziano discusses the four key neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphin, and how we can activate them to lead happier lives. She provides practical strategies and habits to help rewire our brains for greater happiness. Many readers found the book insightful and appreciated the clear explanations of complex neuroscience concepts. They found the practical tips and exercises helpful for improving their mood and overall happiness. Some readers felt that the book could be repetitive at times, with similar concepts being reiterated throughout. 
Additionally, a few readers wished for more in-depth scientific explanations behind some of the claims made in the book. However, overall, it's still considered a valuable resource for understanding and cultivating happiness. Number 15, Better Than Before by Gretchen Rubin. This book focuses on understanding and changing habits to improve our lives. Rubin delves into the psychology of habit formation and offers practical strategies for creating positive habits and breaking negative ones. She introduces her four tendencies framework, which categorizes people based on how they respond to internal and external expectations to help readers understand themselves better and tailor their habit building approaches accordingly. Talking about the positives, many readers found the book insightful and appreciated the clear explanations of complex neuroscience concepts. They found the practical tips and exercises helpful for improving their mood and overall happiness. Talking about the negatives, some readers felt that the book could be repetitive at times, with similar concepts being reiterated throughout. Additionally, a few readers wished for more in-depth scientific explanations behind some of the claims made in the book. However, overall, it's still considered a valuable resource for understanding and cultivating happiness. So there you have it, 15 amazing books on habits that can help you understand how to build good ones and break the bad ones. Dive into these reads and you'll be well on your way to becoming your best self.